Hello friends, welcome to my video today. We are in my kitchen. I'm excited to be doing, I think, this new series. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, showing you guys some of my favorite items. I call it Amazon around my house, I guess is what we're gonna call it. And I just wanna show you some of the items that um, in different rooms of our house, so today will be the kitchen, that are just some of my favorites that I recommend that kind of go to, that are multifunctional that really help if you're being more minimal or more intentional with what you are bringing into your home that I think I personally really recommend. You guys know on my channel or if you are new, welcome. My name is Tanya and I like to talk about simple, frugal living. And part of that is also trying to be, I think I'm on this journey, I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist maybe, but trying to be more intentional about what is coming into my house, what actually is functioning, like what am I actually using, does something have multiple purposes and so on. So I'm just trying to be more intentional and on this journey, maybe you are too. I'd love to have you join me on this channel. But today, um, that is what I wanna talk about because I do like to encourage secondhand when possible, but I do still use Amazon. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't. And I find really great items and I was talking to my husband about this because there's looking around the kitchen, there's just some stuff that I really enjoy and I'm so glad that I have in my kitchen and maybe you would also enjoy this. And so this is also great, again, if for yourself, for your home, or maybe, you know, for gifts or things coming up for the holidays, you know, so if that's just something, I'll try to have links down below to everything. But let's get into it and talk about the items that are great Amazon finds for my home. So we'll start with kind of gadgety items because I have those here and uh, to show you. We'll start again, like I said, with gadgety items. So the first thing, and I want to mention is that with a lot of these items, when I purchase them, I like to think, is this an item that's not just like cool or like, ooh, gimmicky kind of in the moment, but will it have hopefully multiple uses for me and will I actually use it often in my home or you know in the, the room, wherever it is where this is going. So that's kind of my logic behind a lot of these items. So the first, and this is one that is very affordable, that honestly I didn't really think about that I needed it, but they have been so helpful, is these little silicone muffin tins. I actually purchased a second set, so I think I have 24 in here. These are really great. I think a pack of 12 is about four or five dollars. Not just for muffins, obviously for baking. I tend to bake muffins about once a week for my kids, so they definitely get used for that. It's really helpful because then you know your pans are not getting dirty and sticky and stuff, so it's really easy. Again, also saves wastes because they're reusable, but I also use them, for example, when I am freezing eggs. I think I did that in a previous video if you wanna check it out, so it works really well, again, for the muffin tins. I crack and freeze the egg in there, um, or if you're gonna bake it, you know, all that kind of stuff, really great for that. Also, it's really nice for condiments. Sometimes if you need to just put some ketchup or whatever, on your plate or a kid's plate, um, you can just grab one of these little things instead of having to get a whole nother, you know, like big dish or plate or something dirty, you're able to use these and kind of stick them. They can also be great for snacks and lunch boxes, little dividers and things like that. So a few different uses, but I definitely use these a lot. Like I said, so much so that I bought another set. So these are a staple in our kitchen and probably will be forever. So I really enjoy these. And they're just a great gift to or stocking stuff where you don't really realize you need them until you use them and you're like, this is amazing. <laughs> the next item that again, I use a lot, probably hear that for most of these items, is this uh, colander attachment thingy silicone. Um, I really enjoy this. I didn't know how I would feel about it, but again, I love it. There we go, why it's in this video. But I really like it because you just attach it and it's nice because it can adjust to any pots, like pot size which again, if you have different pots of different sizes, which I think most of us do, this is really great for that and it'll fit nice and snug no matter what the size of the pot is. And it's really great just for pouring out liquids and stuff and it's really small and compact so it just fits in a drawer and I don't have to worry about the big, bigger, you know, like colanders and stuff like that. So I really do enjoy this and like I said, I use it a lot anytime I'm boiling, pouring stuff out, whatever. This is super nice for that. And it's super easy to clean too because you could just put it in your dishwasher. So that's also helpful that a lot of these items are also easy cleanup as well. So there's this. Again, not very expensive and could also just be a great gift or stocking stuffer for someone in your family or you know in your life or just for yourself as well. The next item, and if you are in a Mexican household like we are, we eat a lot of tacos and things with 
you know, just all the awesome Mexican food and we used a lot of limes and lemons. And so we really wanted to have a really good um, like lime juicer. And we've gone through some that maybe were like cheaper or kind of plasticky and they break eventually like so quickly. So I finally went on Amazon and got this one and it has stood, I think I've had this now for two and a half, maybe even three years. We've had it for a long time. It works really well. And it's just one of those, I feel like, investment pieces. Like, you have it and it's just, it's so good. This is the only one I have. And again, I use it weekly, multiple times, and it just works so well. It's stainless steel, easy to clean, and yeah, I just think it's a helpful tool to have. Next one that I have is, I don't know what this would be called, a grater thingy? I, I don't know what, I would, what this is called, but I really recommend this for multiple reasons. I used to have, the biggest one that I use this for is actually garlic. I used to have a garlic press thingy and I got rid of that because the reality was if you've used those, I don't know, I just, the garlic would get stuck. It doesn't all grate. It just, it wasn't really helpful and I didn't like it and it was a pain in the butt to clean. So I started using this and you can use this for baking, things like nutmeg or whatever other items. For cheese, I use this right if I'm grating cheese. Um, but like I said, garlic, I really like it because it's just so easy and I feel like it's a lot easier to clean because again, you can clean it by hand, right in your sink, it's pretty easy. There's no like little holes or crevices for things to get stuck, like corner kind of stuff. Like yes, obviously it has holes, but if you know what I mean. <laughs> like it's just easier because it's a flat surface here. It's just pretty easy to clean. And also you can put it in the dishwasher, it's stainless steel. Like again, I've had this, I think for two or three years, like a long time. It's held up, it's really good shape. And I just recommend this. I think if you have this, you don't need like garlic devices or other stuff. I just have this and that's mainly what I use. So I like it, <laughs> I recommend it. Next item, which is kind of maybe, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's a specialty item, but I still think it's a good one to have in your kitchen, especially if you are cooking or baking a lot. And especially if you are using meat because it is a meat thermometer. I lost my little cover. I think it's somewhere in my drawer. But again, it's a pretty affordable meat thermometer and I really like it, it's just battery. You know, you push it here, uh, it's battery operated and it's nice because again if you're cooking with meats you want to make sure that things are the right temperature and that you know it's cooked all the way so it's just really helpful again it's a smaller it's not like very bulky it does the job it does fahrenheit or in celsius depending what you need and again it's just one of those simple items i use it for baking i use it like i said mostly with meat recipes if you're making like sweets or things that need to come to a certain temperature or jams it's helpful for that, but just even again, even if you're just using it for meat, I think it's helpful for that alone. And I think it's a good um, item to have in your kitchen for healthy food prep. Kind of, I think maybe gadget or kitchen tool item, I guess, would be these tongs. And specifically, I like this pair of two because again, it is not a crazy amount of like six or seven tongs. If that's something you need, I mean, I'm sure Amazon definitely has those, but for me, I did not need 7 billion tongs and rainbow colors and all that stuff for me personally. I just wanted one or two that were really good quality and, you know, just that would work. <laughs> and again, what I like about these is they have this lock mechanism, so it opens or closes, which is nice for storing when you're cooking, um, that, you know, they're not just like wide and getting food everywhere and stuff or taking up space on your counter. But again, also it's really nice uh, stainless steel and then silicone here. I've had these for a few months now, but I really am so glad that I got them. They are a pretty good price uh, range. And again, they're just the bigger size and the smaller size. You can store them by the little hooks or in your drawers, whichever. You can wash these in the dishwasher. And they're just one of those things that again, just to have when you're cooking, for flipping, for grilling, pretty much anything that you can use tons for. I think these are really great. And again, I like that it's just the minimal to, you know, for me, that's personally, I really enjoy that. I don't want a seven or eight gajillion tons to try to store in a drawer somewhere. So I really enjoy this, glad I have them, definitely recommend them. And again, I think they're a good, maybe could be good for like a hostess gift or just stocking stuffers or for anyone um, in your life. Then this next item that I have, this is uh, my most recent, I think, addition to my kitchen, but I'm so excited, I've been wanting to get this, and I finally have, and it is this electrical, I'm sure you guys have probably seen these around, but I, I'm so glad I have this. It is an electrical uh, lighter, 
and I just really love this. It was about $8. They are, again, pretty affordable, and what I love about this, again, is I can reuse this, so it's a more sustainable option than those gas lighters. I finally waited for mine to finish, and I was like, yes! My moment has come. I'm finally buying this. It's been on my list, and so it's super nice because it is rechargeable, so again, you don't have to worry about running out and trying to get more or whatever if it runs out, because it doesn't. You can recharge it, and then you're able to just open it up here. I'll try to show you, and you can see here when I push the button, it is elect electrical, and I was kind of like, wait, what? Like, how would that work? I feel like I'm like a magician or something when I use this, but it does work. I've started bonfires with this, my candles at home in my kitchen, or you know anything else that you might need. I do store this in my kitchen, so I put that in this video. But again, this is just so great for anywhere around your house. And again, this would be a great little addition or a gift. Maybe you're giving it with a candle or something like that. But it's one of those things you don't think about, but it's amazing. Like, this is it. This is the only lighter I will need for all my candle and bonfire needs ever, right? So in my house. So I'm super excited for this. And definitely just a really cool multi-use and just, I think, simple and frugal item to have. So recommend this. Definitely. I think every household needs this. <laughs> Then the next few items I want to talk about, and I'll show them in the B-roll because they're kind of spread out throughout my kitchen. The first item, this is also a newer addition, but I definitely recommend this. If you are a family that cooks with rice or has, you know, the big bulk bags of rice, I recommend this so much. You can use it for other, you know, dispensing of goods as well. Um, it is technically, I guess, like a rice or food dispenser. And it's great for one for storage, but so that really helps. It's a nice convenient style that fits in my pantry. Um, and I really just love the whole thing about it because this holds a big uh, Costco size bag of rice that we use. It also comes with a really cool cup that has drainage on the sides. So you are able to just put your rice in there and rinse it all within the same container. You guys know I'm all about ease and simplicity when possible. So I love that about it. You can also gauge and see how much rice or whatever it is you put in there, how much you have. So it helps with knowing your inventory without having to like have it being closed in a bag and trying to look in there and stuff like that. Um, also, it's just, again, it's just very helpful. It's good for storing it. Nothing's getting in. It's sealed up. And so it's good for storing that as well. And it's just been so helpful. Again, I just really enjoy it. You could use this for lentils, for beans. We use it for rice, like I said, at our home. But it's one of those gifts. I'm thinking of possibly getting it for my mother-in-law because, again, Mexican household, we eat a lot of rice here. And my in-laws, they obviously also eat a lot of rice. And so it would be so great. I think it would be a good gift um, to give to someone as well that they may not realize they need it, but it's just so cool and I really, really use it and I'm so glad that I have it in my pantry and in my kitchen. The next item I wanted to talk about is a couple different, but um, I guess it's an organizer technically, but this would be an egg storage or like egg dispenser almost. So. Uh, in our household, we have 13 chickens, so we definitely have a lot of eggs. And you don't need to maybe have this big of an organizer, although I really love it because it's almost kind of like a vending machine system. You put the eggs and it rolls forward, and it's just so great. It fits nicely on the top shelf of my fridge. It's clear so I can see exactly how many our eggs are in there, which is helpful for inventory and knowing what you have but also it's just organizing it. And it's a good way, again, you can rotate the eggs so the oldest you know, are being used first. Or you can also, maybe if you don't have a bunch of eggs or maybe you don't eat, you know, store that many, whatever the reason. I also just really enjoy the clear containers of egg organization. I know there's a bunch of different ones. I just find those helpful. I've had ours, the regular clean water, clear one for years and we love it. And then the recent addition has been the dispenser one. And again, I just, it's one of those things you don't realize, but I just love it so much. It's a simple thing, but it makes me so happy. It makes it so much easier to dispense eggs. And especially, like I said, if you are someone that has chickens or maybe just a large amount of eggs in your home, like if maybe you buy in bulk, it's so good for storing that large amount of eggs and dispensing. I love it. So 10 out of 10, glad that I purchased that. And I will recommend it to anyone, anytime. Like, don't get me started on egg storage containers. I'm so excited about it next item that I really I think I've had this for almost a year now but I really am glad that I have it it is a uh, magnet strip or magnet block for holding my knives and uh, some of my little like you know metal utensils and things like that I really enjoyed again it's simple 
but it's something that you can really utilize. It helps use that vertical space in your kitchen if you have metal items to store. I really like it that that stuff is not taking up items in you know my storage in my drawers or anything like that. It's also a good way to store knives that are out of the way um, that you know my kids and stuff or just people are not you know hitting sharp knives and all that stuff. So I really love for storing. Okay. And speaking of um, knives, I wanted to show. I'm gonna try to safely hold this without looking like a serial killer or something crazy is the only two knives that I own. I know it's crazy. We used to have, you know, some of like kind of cheaper knives and like they worked, but eventually like the handles and stuff, it just, they weren't working that well. And so I kind of did a lot of research and I had discovered these, which, um, if you never heard of them, but they're pretty nice. They are called was tough. If I'm saying that correctly, they're a German brand. And I, you can purchase a lot of these on Amazon, which is why I wanted to share them in this video. They are definitely investment pieces. Each one is about close to a hundred or more dollars, depending. So they're definitely pricey, but I've had these, like I said, for almost a year and they're definitely like you buy them, they're an investment, you have them your whole life. And they are wonderful. They have different collections. This is from the Wustav Classic, which I really enjoy. So I just have this pairing one, just so great. They're so sharp, they work really well. And then you can just sharpen them or bring them in to get sharpened, which is what I do once a year. Um, but this is the pairing one. I was a good size. The handles are weighted really well. So I really enjoyed this one. And then the other one is just, you know, for dicing and chopping and all that stuff is this one here. And again, it's just so good. And I feel like until like when you try a really good knife, like you don't realize like what you've been missing out on. And so again, you guys know, I'll talk about in a way and people are like this is so expensive but being simple and frugal to me is i buy this one time and that's it right i'm not wasting more money and time and resources later down the road because i'm buying cheap knives over and over and over and just wasting more money and resources and creating more waste so for me this is a simple and frugal option right i know it is investment up front but if you're able to if you have the opportunity um, cause I did save up to finally get these and I'm so glad that I did. I'm hoping to get a couple more from them, but it's nice. Cause like once you have these staple knives, that's pretty much it. Like I don't need a bajillion knives. I have my two and it actually has been working really well. So I will link to those as well. They would make a really great gift. I think, especially for someone that loves to be in the kitchen or just even for yourself. Next thing that I want to recommend, this is kind of, maybe this next category is kind of appliances, I guess, but um, so I get so excited about kitchen appliances, but I only really purchased a few because again, I have limited space. I think most of us do, but especially like my kitchen is really narrow and small. And so I don't have, I have like very limited counter space and just space in general. So I only have a few appliances, but the few that I have, I use them a lot for multiple things. Mo like it, I put them through the ringer and really use them. So that's why I really want to recommend them to you in this video. The first, I won't talk too much about it. It's not like a hidden gem. Everybody knows about it, but it's the Instant Pot. And if you don't have one, I really advocate. I really love the Instant Pot, especially the one that has a yogurt function on it because we make yogurt like every week. I use it to boil our many eggs. So I make hard boiled eggs in it. I make rice in it weekly. You can make soups. I mean, so many things if you obviously know in Instant Pots, but it's just, you can also work as a slow cooker. So I love that it replaces that gadget. I just have my one Instant Pot and I use that for so many things. It can saute items. Like I said, it can make soups, it can boil. Like you can, I mean, so many things you can do in it. And like I said, it just replaces so many other gadgets. I just have Instant Pot and I love it. I know there's lots of different versions. I'll link the one that I have. I've had it now, I think for three or four years. And it is still, I use it so many times a week. I love it. And I always recommend it to people if they're like, should I, should I not? Yes, for me personally, from my experience, I use it a lot. The next item I want to talk to you about is the KitchenAid food processor. And I wanted to share this one because particularly, again, it's one of those items that I wasn't sure. And I kind of did a lot of research because I'm that's kind of how I am and I'm just picky. But since having it, I've had this now for I think two years and I love it again when i use it pretty much weekly for sure every couple weeks and it just anytime i use it it helps make jobs so much simpler in the kitchen for me and i really love this one because again it's a food processor but it also has 
I think I'll show you, but you might also see in the B-roll, is that it has really great attachments. There's one more, because I was just using this recently, that can slice and it can also shred. It's when there are multiple use and less things, right? So this can be double duty, can be for slicing or for shredding, which I love, different thic uh, thicknesses. And again, it just works so well. It can work as a food processor. It can, like I said, for shredding or for cutting, for slicing, which is really great, especially like for me, when I make borscht, that used to take me forever because I would be cutting the beets, cutting, shredding the carrots. Like there's so many ingredients and I love making borscht, I'm Ukrainian. So like we make borscht a lot at our house. So with the food processor, it is so quick, so quick. And I just love it for baking as well. Again, just anytime you're making big batches of salads for the holidays, for parties, anything. It is, I think it's about a hundred or so dollars. But again, it's one of those pieces where it's like one of the few appliances that i have in my kitchen but i so 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 recommend it it just is really good quality it has not broken there's a good warranty on it from KitchenAid, and i just recommend it time and time again over any other food processor kind of like chopping items and things like that i just love it and i will always recommend it and definitely recommend it to you if you guys are looking for a good gift or again for yourself i just really love it and then I thought I would also end this video with a couple items which by the way if you've made it this far thank you so much and if this is something um, that you know if you're liking this content and you find it interesting entertaining informative I don't know um, I would love it if you give a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and with supporting my channel so I would really appreciate that thank you so much and I wanted to finish up with just the two two items. I think this would be kind of be considered, I guess, like storage items or food storage kind of stuff. Um, the first one, again, this is not a necessity, but I feel like it has been really helpful. Is this olive oil? Sorry if it's kind of, I mean, you can tell I use this every single day. It is an olive oil dispenser. Um, again, you can buy in different sets. I just love this. It's simple, but I really like this because we buy the bulk olive oil from Costco. And so it's kind of hard to store and it's heavy on our like Lazy Susan shelf. It will kind of weigh it down a lot. So uh, we do definitely use this because we don't want our shelves to like break and stuff. So I do use this and it's just so helpful, really easy for dispensing. But again, one of those things you're like, wait, you don't always think about and would make, again, a really great hostess gift if you want to give this with like a really nice bottle of olive oil or you can use it for vinegars as well and stuff like that. But again, I've had this, I think, for four years, three or four years. Use it every day. Really simple, but again, just definitely like a workhorse in our kitchen. We use this all the time every day. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is, uh, so we drink a lot of tea in my house. Again, Ukrainian household tea is a must. And so I drink a lot of loose leaf tea, which I just normally store in mason jars. But I do also have some loose leaf tea as well, especially like if there's parties, we're entertaining, stuff like that. Sometimes it's nice to have the bags and just, you know, in general people are for it'd be easier to grab one, you guys know. So I have this box, which I also had got from Amazon. I really enjoy this one because I've looked at a few others and hopefully again, I'll try to have links down below if I find this exact one or something similar. But I really enjoy this because it has eight and I find that it's a good amount. It's not like too small. I feel like four wouldn't really be enough for us personally. So eight is a good amount. And I like that it has a clear top, which I kind of need to clean, but it has this so you can see in there as well, which I like, but it also still contains everything. And it's this nice bamboo um, wood. And it also has magnets on the top that, you know, holds it nice and shut. And so again, this would also, I think, be a really great gift, but just for storage and organization. Again, if you are a tea drinker, this is a good one that has been I said like I said I've had this for I think two going on three years I think and it still is holding up really nice it stores well in our drawer um or in our in our kitchen I really enjoy it and I would recommend I think again be a good gift put some teas in there or some tea accessories to go along with it and I think it'd be a wonderful gift for someone who loves tea in your family. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this whole video. I hope this helped you. And if this is something you're, you're curious, kind of maybe this will be a cool series, like Amazon around my house, we can do another video, maybe like in my bathroom or in my dining room or wherever else, or you know, like Amazon fashion or Amazon whatever. So hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.